Hello, today we're going to evaluate a limit. It's the limit as x approaches zero of um, one minus the cosine of three x divided by the cosine squared of five x minus one. The first thing I notice about this limit is that I can factor a negative one from the denominator. So I'm going to do that. So I have the limit as x approaches zero, one minus the cosine of three x divided by negative. Uh, when I factor out a negative one from negative one, I get a positive one. Negative one out of the cosine squared of five x leaves a negative cosine squared of 5x. Now I see that 1 minus the cosine squared of 5x is the sine squared of 5x. So I have the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus the cosine of 3x divided by negative sine squared of 5x. I still have the indeterminate form 0 over 0, but now I can multiply the numerator by the conjugate which is one minus, or one plus, sorry, the cosine of three x over one plus the cosine of three x. And when I do so, the numerator becomes the limit as x approaches zero. One times one is one. The middle term drops out. Negative cosine of three x times the positive cosine of three x is the minus the cosine squared of 3x divided by the negative sine squared of 5x times 1 plus the cosine of 3x. I've still got 0 over 0, but now I can change 1 minus the cosine squared of 3x to the sine squared of 3x. So I have the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine squared of 3x divided by the negative sine squared of 5x times 1 plus the cosine of 3x. Now I can rewrite this limit in a series of products in order for it to make a little more sense. So I'll have or in order for me to be able to evaluate these limits. The limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of 3x times the sine of 3x divided by 1 for in inference times uh, 1 divided by the sine of 5x times the sine of 5x. I'm going to put this negative 1 right here and the numerator of this negative 1 times 1, negative 1 over 1 plus the cosine of 3x. Oops, let me write cosine instead of cosine of 3x. So now I have uh, sine of 3x times sine of 3x times 1 over the sine of 5x times the sine of 5x times negative 1 over 1 plus the cosine of 3x. This term right here is going to negative 1 half. Uh, negative 1 is just negative 1 as x goes to 0. As x goes to 0, the cosine of 3x is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So my issue is right here and right here. So what I'm going to do, if I, had a, if I had two 3x's in the denominator here, I could have the sine of 3x over the sine of 3x as x goes to 0, which is the limit is, of course, 1. Same difference with this sine of 3x. If I had a 5x over this sine of 5x and a 5x over this sine of 5x, then I would have uh, a limit of one as x approaches zero as well. So in order to do that, I'm gonna multiply by x squared over x squared because I need a net two x's in the denominator and two x's in the numerator, so there they are. I'm gonna multiply by three times three, which is nine in the numerator, and nine in the denominator, because I need two threes in the denominator. And I'm gonna multiply by 
5 times 5, which is 25, in the numerator and the denominator, because I need a 25 or a 5 times 5 in this numerator. So now I'm just going to write, I'm going to group one of these x's with one of these uh, factors of 5 here, one, uh, another one with the other factor of 5, put them right here, same difference with these three factors of 9 and um, factors of x squared. So when I do so, I'm going to get the limit as x approaches 0, the sine of 3x over 3x times the sine of 3x over 3x, that comes from this x, I'm mean, sorry, this x and this x, right here and right here. 9 times 9 is 3 times 3, 3 times 3 is 9. So now I'm going to have 5x, I get one of my x's there, one of my 5's in that 25 over the sine of 5x times another 5x, got it from the same place, the other 5 in that 25 and the other x in that numerator there over the sine of 5x. Now I'm going to multiply by the negative 1 over 1 plus the cosine of 3x. Now I'm going to multiply by what's left over. I took care of, of both of the x's right here, x times x is x squared. I took care of the other two x's in the denominator here, x times x is x squared. Two threes in the denominator, three times three is nine. So there's a nine left in the numerator. Five times five is 25 in the numerator. So there's a 25 left in the, I mean in the denominator, sorry. There's five and a five in the, in the numerator here. So that leaves a 25 in the denominator. So now I can take my limits. Uh, the limit as x goes to zero of sine of 3x over 3x is of course one. So I have one times another one, another one, and yet another one. So now the limit as x goes to 0 of negative 1 is negative 1. The limit as x goes to 0 of 1 plus the cosine of 3x. As the cosine of 3x goes to 0, it's 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 times 9 over 25. Multiplying out, we get negative 9 over 50. A little bit tedious, but not impossible by far.